Good morning. So I just want to spend some time with you guys talking about nullification and what exactly that means. Um, I know we uh, we did talk about it. Uh, if you remember, that was Jefferson and the Democratic Republicans um, way or suggestion with how they deal with the Alien and Sedition Acts, which they believe were unconstitutional. Um, so you remember, we did talk about this, right? They passed the Kentucky, Virginia um, resolutions and uh, they just they weren't actually forced to, to use nullification um, because uh, John Adams and the Federalists were, were removed from power and um, Jefferson and the Democratic Republicans were able to, um, to, to, rem to rescind the Alien and Sedition Acts, which meant that nullification wasn't an issue. But the idea, right, that, that uh, the states could use nullification to um, get rid of or, or sort of make federal laws not apply to that state still exists. And that's what we're dealing with here, okay? So um, in order to sort of discuss or sort of dissect nullification, I want you to think of some larger organizations that have smaller subgroups. Um, so take a minute, think about one. My examples, and you could come up with a different one, there are certainly lots of them, um, but to use a couple that we'll use in this video, uh, the NFL, right? So you've got the the broad league, right, that has restrictions and rules, and um, and then you've got individual teams, right, which make their own decisions and have their own team leadership and owners and coaching staff and whatever. So you've got a large organization, right? So the NFL would be the federal government, and then you've got teams which would be state government. Um, schools, right? We have administration um, and school-wide rules. And then you've got within that school classrooms with teachers who make their own rules and sort of uh, classroom rules, right? Um, and then finally for the National Park Service, right? So it's a large federally run um, service and that'd be sort of the federal government and then the state government would be the individual parks where you've got individual park rangers and again, leadership making decisions. Um, so. For the purposes of this video, let's talk about schools, the thing that's the most familiar to us. Um, imagine if schools adopted the doctrine of nullification. So that would mean, right? So today there's a school rule, right? Um, we'll use an easy one, right? Uh, can't use phones in class, right? Students are not allowed to use phones in class. Imagine if a teacher turned around and said, oh, like, whatever, don't really care if you guys use phones in class. Um, what kind of what would happen right that's what's going on here we have we have states uh taking federal laws and saying we don't want to apply that okay to our state um the argument for this right as a teacher maybe you could say right or, or the states um you could say i have I have better knowledge of my students, right? I have better knowledge of my classroom environment than the principal has. And so therefore I understand that this might be a good thing um, in this situation. And so therefore I'm gonna sort of nullify um, this school-wide rule. On the other hand, right, that, that causes in, inconsistencies, that, that causes students to say, why do students in, you know, Miss or Mr. X's room uh, allowed to do that, but, but not, uh, in, you know, this other teacher's classroom. Um, and so it causes, sometimes it can cause problems. Um, what is going to happen in Congress is it's going to explode, right? Uh, Daniel Webster famously is going to defend or the, the union and say that nullification is problematic for unity. You can't have uh, states just not obeying or not following federal laws. On the other hand, Haynes, who you read about, is going to say, no, states understand the needs of their citizens better. So what I want you to think about is, is, is sort of, is this a good thing? Is this concept of nullification something that, that, that ought to happen? Um, this is going to uh, build up and build up. It's going to cause more and more tension um, in the Senate, but in the country as well. Um, and this concept that states have sort of a power over the federal government, it's going to continue to be an issue even once this crisis is blown over.